What's up travelers? In this video we head over to Piazza Navrona to Bernini restaurant where we get an amazing fettuccine ai porcini tartafati and then we head on over to the Spanish Steps on our way over to Ristorante Pizzeria Forno e la Brasseria where we get a fantastic ravioli con crema di scampi on our way out of town. So I'm sitting here at Bernini Restaurante in Piazza Navona. So this place, it's a little bit of a higher end place. Things are kind of pricier than, than most places that we've been to so far. However, it is a Piazza Navona. And this, the views are absolutely spectacular. The food, we're gonna have to find out. I'm getting ready to order a fettuccine by Porcini Tartaflate, which is handmade noodles with porcini mushrooms and truffle oil. It's going to cost 19 euros 50 cents. Pretty excited about it. got this food here, uh, it was fettuccine, a, a pochini, and truffle oil, and oh man, this, it just looks amazing. So they also gave us a big thing of shredded parmesan, so we'll see if we need that, but we're gonna, we're gonna take a bite without it first. Mm. Oh wow, <laughs> the flavor of this, it is just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's got that nice earthiness of a mushroom, but you know, I've, I've never really been a big mushroom fan personally, but when you see, when you're in Italy and you see porcini, get in on it, because you're going to want to get in on that. <laughs> it is fantastic. Mm. That is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some of this on here. <laughs> that is, it's, it's, it's so savory and just almost like it's got a hint of sour cream in it but I don't think it, it does like it's just that it's just the mushrooms and that the gravy that they that they use for this is just 
is fantastic. And these noodles. Mm. They're just perfectly cooked al dente. Uh, grazie. Hey, he just he just brought us some bread. I'm thinking to sop up the gravy when we're done. One thing's for sure here in Italy, they love their carbs. <laughs> Overall, I'd say Bernini is a pretty good restaurant. This meal for 19.50, yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but yeah, the flavors are there. You come to Rome, you come to beautiful Navona Square, or Navona Square, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, <laughs> but uh, come to Bernini Restaurante, it's, it's tucked away over in the corner, over by the, the, the fountain of Neptune and the octopus, and So right behind me are the famous Spanish steps, and uh, I'm nursing a really sore Achilles. And I kind of don't want to go up there, but I really do. <laughs> I didn't find this last time I was here in Rome, so I'm just going to go for it anyway. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to suck, but it's going to be awesome at the same time. Uh, hopefully that we can get in the church when we're up there and actually take some video inside. Oh, we're almost up there. Oh, we made it to the top. We just got one more flight of stairs to climb to get into the church up there. We're gonna make it. <laughs> it ain't open. <laughs> So I'm sitting here at Restaurante Imperium Forno de Legna, getting ready to order some ravioli con crema de scampi, and I'm thinking it's going to be pretty amazing. Got their menu on the wall here. I don't know anything about this place. What I do know is it's close to where I'm staying and it's been a long, long day of walking. I've seen a lot of things today. It's time to eat some dinner and then get back to the apartment and do some editing. <laughs> All right, would you look at this? This looks amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into one of these raviolis right off the bat here. Ah, mi amore. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm. Mm. All right, so I think I think these raviolis are stuffed with ricotta cheese, which is just great absolutely great and we got a few shrimp in here and then there's a there's a huge prawn there we're gonna save that one for last <laughs> yeah, that bit. they just throw everything in there 
Shells are on it. You don't even have to peel it. Mm. Amazing. I mean, I'm sure this place is like super touristy. I mean, I'm literally looking at the train station right now. This is a good spot to stop if you just if you're hungry and you're just getting off the train or the bus coming into Rome. This is a good spot to go. It's literally a block away. Most places, most restaurants in Rome are good, better than probably any Italian place you're gonna go to in the States. Even their bad ones. <laughs> They're probably better than our best ones, so. Mm. This tomato basil cream sauce, it's just, it, it makes this entire dish. I mean, the shrimp are fantastic. I think before I leave, I'm probably gonna order a piece of tiramisu. So I'm, don't don't leave yet, but go ahead and subscribe, like the video, <laughs> hit that uh, that bell button, and uh, yeah, good stuff. So we got this uh, tiramisu here, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. It looks amazing. Look at this. This thing looks just woo -wee. Amazing. Oh, it's nice and thick. Oh, man. Mm. Magnifico. <laughs> so, the first thing that you taste is the dusting of the coffee that's on it. And then it just mixes in with the cream, and then you got that little bit of cake that goes with it, and it just, boom, it's such a marriage. It's so good. Again, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and as always, And as always, eat great food.